What is up, my fellow Night Dwellers? Couch Band here, and today we are modding Subnautica Below Zero obtained via Game Pass. And this is my third time making this video because I couldn't get the Nexus mod version of Q mod to actually work. So we're going to do some stuff just to make sure everything runs for you guys. Basically, the steps I took to get it to function for me may be different for you, but at least it should give you a baseline. Anyways, this is going to be like last time where I start from installation all the way up to having mods successfully playing the game. Let's go ahead and start installing the game. Okay, first step up, if you haven't done it before, go ahead and play the game before you try doing anything else. This is just gonna let us grant access as far as the folders go, network, all that stuff. It's the common prompt that pops up anytime you play a new Game Pass game. And you just wanna make sure you complete this. I may or may not get this since I have uninstalled and reinstalled this thing like four times now. Because getting past the screen is actually really difficult. Yep, see there's the pop-up of the synchronizing data. You'll get other stuff that says grant permissions, all that. So we got the base game up. We go into options, there's nothing here. We go play, start a new game. We want to go creative. The mod I'm going to be using should grant this additional quick slots. So let's go ahead and confirm how many quick slots we got currently. All right, we're loaded in. We've got a total of five quick slots currently set up that we can cycle through. Let's go ahead and back out and get modding. Okay. So up first, make sure you're coming out to the Discord to get the version of QMod. I don't know why, but this one works for me. The other one didn't. And we're going to be doing the more quick slots. I've downloaded both of these. So I've got Below Zero, and then I've got BZ Stable. BZ Stable is actually the one I'm gonna be using. We're gonna copy the files here. We're gonna go ahead and click here, Manage, Files, Browse. Brings us over to here. We're gonna open our Subnautica folder, the content, and right click and paste. And just in the steps of saving time, we're also gonna open up the QMods folder here. We're gonna grab the more quick stock mod. We're just gonna drag this over. And if everything worked right, now this time whenever we launch QMod, or whenever we launch Subnautica, we should have QMod installed, we should have the mod set up, and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and play the game. So I don't know why, but for some reason, this thing does not like to terminate itself, so. Occasionally you gotta go in there and just end the task and then click play again. I don't know why it does it, but I've had that issue a couple of times with Subnautica not quitting out. And see, now it's going. The big thing you can tell if you successfully mod the game is if you get past that screen right there, you get past it, you're good. Now if we go into options, we got mods here. There we go, check for updates, enable console, enable developer. Kind of hoping it actually tell me I had that mod installed, but whatever. Let's go creative. 
Well, let's see if we've got additional quick slots. If it did, successfully modded, well, added QMod and successfully, uh, if it does load, we successfully modded with QMod and added quick slots, we added quick slots. We now have a total of 10 quick slots available. So there you go. That is how you mod Subnautica below zero. This was Couch Band. You guys will have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.